Them is a, a really good football team, a physical team. I thought I thought going into the game really good on defense, and they certainly are. Um, I I don't know if Bryce Young got hurt or if Coach elected uh, to go with Milrow, but if he if he did, I hope that he's fine. He, he's a he's a really good player, strong competitor. Um, too many, way too many um, big plays for them. Uh, uh, not enough for us. Turnover battle was about, I think, about the same. Uh, but we, for whatever reason, we we didn't start well. Um, and then tried to finally score there right before the half. But we just, we didn't start well. And part of that, I'm sure, is because Alabama. But um, uh, we have to do better. We have to play better. And uh, you know, we've got to regroup and, and um you know, last year we lost three in a row and, and turned out and won four of the last five or five of the last six, whatever it might be. Uh, we got to find a way to turn it around. I know we've played two really good teams the last two weeks, but uh, we've got to play better regardless of what the score is, what it becomes. Um, we've got to play more consistent, tackle better, uh, convert third downs, things of that nature on offense. Uh yeah, Sam Alabama, I think, was 9 of 14 on third downs. Um, how big was that? And they, they hit a lot of big ones. And that 77-yard run by Milrow, it looked yeah. like you had them, you know. It was huge. I mean, they were they were down, I think, inside the 20 and 28-23 game. And and uh, he went 77. And then uh, they scored a couple of plays later and and uh, got it back up to a 12-point game. And, and uh, we didn't answer. Uh, on offense, and that that was a big, big play. I was proud, you know. I'm proud of the team for the way we came out and and fought back into the game. I mean, we were in it, in it, and uh, but that play right there seemed to take a little bit of the wind out of our sails, uh, and we couldn't convert the next time we had the ball. But but uh, that was a big, big play, and then you know, obviously Gibbs is run, and you know, I don't think we touched him. You know, so we got to get got to get better. We've got to tackle better. We seem to say it every week, but we got to eat up space better. But on offense, we got to throw the ball better too. We're not. I mean, we're, we're right now we're one dimensional, and, and we're we've got to be able to throw and catch and protect and all those things. And it's got to be better because we can't just turn around and hand the ball off and beat really good teams. We got to we got to do better. At one point, Alabama was eight of twelve on third downs. Finished nine of fourteen. Just how how big was that in the game? Well, it's big. I mean, it's either they convert nine and they stay on the field, or they convert half of them and they're off the field half the time. It's a huge deal, you know. And and uh, when Bryce was in there, they were taking us to empty and and uh, you know, kind of picking us apart. And they running down the middle some post routes that. Uh, you know, basically we're wide open that we've, we've got to get better in coverage and uh, they were big, Bob. Third down or third quarter uh, improvement this week was an emphasis. Uh, was there, what was the key to, to coming out strong like you did out of halftime? Um, I don't know. You know, we emphasize so many things, you know, coach sets up here and if it works, you know, and says, well, I did this and I did that and I do. I've been, we've been emphasizing tackling and covering and blocking and, you know, stuff too. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But the third down, or excuse me, the third quarter, we just stayed in here and stretched. And I talked to them. The captains talked to them. It's the same thing that we did at practice. And we ran 20 and ran back. We just changed it up. We hadn't really – we hadn't won a third quarter all year. And so we changed it up. And – I don't know if it worked or not, or it was because we was down 21. I, I don't know. But I do know the kids answered the challenge, and that was that was good to see. Part of that was the onside kick. Was that something you've had in your bag all season or a look that you'd seen from Alabama? Or? No, that's that's what we that's what we seeing it on tape. We felt like it was there and Bates was really good at it. He had done it at his previous school and it just seemed like the right time to to use it and it worked and we went down and scored. So that was a good deal. 
Um, KJ got slammed down yeah. and came out for a play and then went back. Can you update us on how he's doing, what you um, thought of the game? I mean, he hit his head. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where he's at, to be honest with you. He, obviously, we didn't bring him back in, so I, I don't know any more than that. And what about the offensive plan? Because it seemed like you established the run a little bit. Can you maybe talk about what you wanted to do? Well, I wanted to run some go, go balls long on them. And we tried that a little bit, but we tried it later than, you know, but we always are going to try to establish a run to throw play action off of it. But we just, uh, we either weren't, weren't getting open or we weren't, uh, throwing it accurately and, and, uh, you know, came off the field. We couldn't stay, we couldn't, we couldn't stay on the field. And, you know, against Alabama, you're probably not going to be able to turn around and hand it three times in a row and get a first down all the time, you know? So I, I was disappointed where I just didn't feel like we threw the ball and well, uh, threw and caught it, protected all those things go together. Well, got open all those things just wasn't there. Yeah, Sam, just curious for your, your overall thoughts on the receivers today and just do you feel like you still need that guy to maybe rise up to that that alpha role in that room? Well, I mean, are, if we're talking about today, I just said, you know, we, we didn't throw and catch it very good, you know. Um, uh, you know, you play better defenses than others, and Alabama will be one of the best we played, you know, best corners, cover corners, things of that nature. Um, but I think we've got good receivers. I do. Obviously, Warren Thompson didn't play today. He was hurt. Uh, but I think we have good receivers. I uh, I think we got to go back to work and maybe uh, – uh, maybe do a little bit of something different in a quicker game. You know, we did try to throw a stop and stuff a, a time or two, but maybe something a little quicker uh, where we can take advantage of some slants and some things of that nature. Coach, how deflating was it? It seems a uh, time, a couple of times, third and 15, third and 18, where you got them in a position where you could probably do something defensively and then they come up with the big play. It's bad. You know, I mean, you sit there and you think you're you're gonna get off, and then they make a play. You know, it's yeah, it's very deflating. You know, it's uh, but that's part of the game. You know, all that, but um, it's happening too often to us. We got to figure out how to get off the field when we have advantage and uh, with the sticks. And it's not that we're not working it; it's just uh, we're not doing it. And part of that has to do with uh, tightness of coverage. Part of it has to do with area in tackling. Uh, tackling is still a problem for us that we've got to continue to improve on. But it's, it's sure it's very deflating, you know. Uh, you mentioned Thompson's hurt. He did dress out. So, I mean, do you think it's not a, a serious deal? Do you, think, do you have any idea on timeline for him? I don't. Um, I mean, uh, we thought there was a – chance that he could play um you know slusher was the same way you know we thought that he would be able to play and he went out there a little bit but his calf was all tight and all this kind of stuff but uh warren he just hadn't hardly practiced well at all this week so we just felt like we'd be better with keytron and and matt and Jaden instead of uh chance in him out there because I I just I, he wasn't ready and also when KJ went out y'all went with Fortin could you talk about maybe that decision instead of Malik well uh, that decision has been made for a while so he's our number two quarterback so we put him in there so Sam um you guys made a great comeback but Alabama you know led the whole way built a big lead and they do that on a lot of people that's kind of their MO how tough is that when you fall behind Alabama, whether it's you guys or anybody else are playing, how tough is it to play from behind? Well, it's hard. You know, we did it all that, the whole game last year over there. You know, it was maybe getting close, sort of like today, except we didn't, you know, they didn't end up having the big 
big plays in the fourth quarter, you know, um, well, we answered them every, you know, for most part last year. Um, but I don't know. Oh, uh, McKinstry broke a couple of punts. I don't know, you, I don't know what was the plan. Did, did Max outkick the coverage a couple of times? No, a couple of times we, we kicked out of the zone, and one time we had a gunner on the wrong side of the field, and uh, we didn't have a boundary gunner. And uh, ironically, he returned it to the field. So we had a guy over there, but we couldn't we couldn't make the play. Well, I believe the boundary gunner probably would have been down there and had a fair catch, but we didn't have it. Went to the wrong side. The message to the team at halftime because you know you just score, you know you're gonna get the ball. Did you feel like we can we can get back in this game? And, and you did. Yeah, I felt like we'd get back in the game as long as we believe we could get back in the game. You know, and and uh, you know what happens is is uh, we've won a lot of games, you know, 12 of our last, whatever it is. And I guess 12 of our last 18 or whatever. But what happens is you can't, you got to watch it because we can't revert, revert back to, you know, when we was getting our butt kicked every week, you know, and, and you got to watch it because it's hard. Um, we've got to have, leadership that's what the halftime was was about the older guys that need to lead and and talk you know and i think the captains did a nice job at halftime of talking after i got through but it was just to and be honest with you it was just a challenge to go play hard to play hard and show our character who we are what got us here go out there and play hard and uh you know, we had to make adjustments as a coaching staff, but they had to had to go out there and play hard, and I thought they did. Okay. Okay. Uh, the decision to try the onside kick there and the execution of it, can you comment on that? Well, we was down uh, two scores, and I just thought it's good timing. I thought it was there. We went in it and we were going to fake a field goal too. And I had, I had called a fake down there when we kicked it to make it to 12, I believe is what it ended up getting to. I'd called a fake. That was a fake. And we called it off. And, uh, but I, I was planning on faking a field goal down there, fourth and five. I like what we what we had planned, and as much as I like the onside, uh, but the look wasn't there, so we just went ahead and kicked it. Sam, I think it was twenty one nothing, and they're knocking on the door again, third and seven. They get a offensive pass interference, and you know if you hadn't taken it, they would have had a chip shot field goal. But then you take it, and they score a touchdown. Well, what do you remember about that? And is that just kind of pick your poison uh, with those you guys? Remember about were you over there with Nick? Was he gonna? Was he going to kick it or was he going to go for it? Well, fourth and three? I, I guess I was just wondering what your thought process was. On it. I was not over there by now. Oh, okay, because it sounded like you might have been. Uh, it was fourth and less than three, and I thought if we don't take it, that he was going to go for it. And we put him in third and, what was it, 13, 18? Third and 13. They scored on us. I don't know, Bob. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I thought that he was going to go for it on fourth and three, and I thought we Matt could hold him from less than than uh, ten yards on third down, and who knows, maybe get a turnover, you know, whatever it may be. But uh, I, you know, I always discuss that with with everybody. Say, hey, this is what I'm going to do, and and. Uh, we all agreed that was the best thing to do. They just have to throw a tunnel screen for a touchdown the next play, I think. Coach, earlier this week, you talked about trying to figure out who the number two running back was, uh, you know, pretty even with A.J. Green, five carries, Dominion with four. Did today's game help you kind of make that decision? No. 
I don't think so. I think, you know, I think Rocket's the guy, you know, and then the other guys are, um, I don't, I don't know that any, any of them separated from the other guy. I think they're all good runners, but, um, Jimmy may feel different or I might after I watch the tape, but I, uh, not right now. I don't think so. Thanks coach. Thanks guys.